The robe and collar come off, and the title Madam Justice will no longer apply to Anne-Marie Horrigan. I felt compelled to do it. That's the only way I can describe it. She's stepping down as a judge in Newmarket after 12 years, but freedom at 55 won't mean less work. I noticed an alarming pattern in relation to both the young and adult offenders who appeared before me. A pattern where young people with learning differences, mental health problems, were going unnoticed and untreated. Part of the problem, she says, there aren't any schools in Canada with therapy and special needs education in a boarding school environment, so she plans to build one. If we help that uh, young person when he was 6 or 8 or 14, uh, perhaps he wouldn't be where he is today, sentenced indefinitely to time in the penitentiary. The key, Horgan believes, is to take students who learn differently out of environments holding them back and put them in a rural setting with educators who understand and get their families involved too. She knows it works. Her own son needed special schooling. She had to go to the U.S. to find it. These kids have high potential. Horrigan says this school in Vermont will be a model for hers. As she packs up more than a decade of cases, the people she couldn't help still weigh heavy. Wilson was a dangerous offender, and um, in that case, we basically dissected his life from the time he was eight years old. And many, many times along the way, I saw how he fell through the cracks and at the end of the day committed very serious offenses. But her time on the bench ended with a success she'll never forget. A 14-year-old accused, angry and acting out. She noticed he needed help and made sure he got it. He succeeded. And for many of these kids, uh, failure is their baseline. And they've never, ever experienced any success. So it was very heartwarming for me to see him achieve some a degree of success. Neat Cooks, all CBC News, Newmarket. Yes. Well, if you're interested in learning more or if you'd like to donate to this project, you can go to Canada Gives and follow the link for the Cortland Foundation and online on Twitter at CortlandFD.